Hello everyone. I uh, wanted to thank you uh, for your prayers for Gypsy Lane and her aunt, uh, Rosemary. She's, the last I heard, they, her seizures stopped and they were bringing her, they kind of put her on a life support system uh, to help her breathe. And uh, they're bringing, bringing her out. It looks like she's doing better. So praise the Lord. And thank you for your prayers. Uh, prayers of a righteous man availeth much, the Bible says. I, uh, I'm going back through the book of Acts again. And I'm really taking my time and studying it out. And uh, you get to the tongues speaking of tongues now in Acts chapter 2 it is obvious and I believe all through the book of Acts that uh, the word tongue is talking about a language a human language uh, that they were able to speak where the others could hear them in their own language uh, that was the miracle it wasn't so much the speaking of tongues as the hearing but in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 1 is it, Paul said so though I speak with the uh, tongues of men and of angels there again he's speaking of the tongues of men a lot of charismatics will say, well, he speaks in a heavenly language. To the angels, he was speaking tongues, uh, which means that it's this special heavenly language. Uh, my, uh, I know some charismatics, and that they will they will say, I speak in my heavenly language. Uh, the women too and I'll say well women aren't supposed to speak in tongues this is clearly taught in the Bible to keep silent in the churches and that is a reference directly uh, to tongues uh, that's the you know that's you got to read around a verse a little bit to figure out what it's about context 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 and he is speaking in the context of speaking in tongues Evidently, the Corinthian women were doing a lot of speaking in tongues. And he said, though I speak uh, with the tongues of men and of angels. So they say, well, we're speaking our heavenly language, our language of angels when we're doing the high blah, 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 blah. Me personally, I think it's a, a very dangerous thing uh, they playing with. If you look into Kundalini, uh, the Hindus and the Buddhas and all them, they speak in tongues too, just like the Charismatics. And that is definitely not of the Holy Ghost. So you got to try the spirits. But I, uh, reading through my Bible, I find out that anywhere anyone talks to an angel, they clearly understand them. It's not some gibberish language. Uh, Abraham spoke with angels. Uh, Jacob, when he fought the angel. Daniel spoke with angels. John spoke with angels. Uh, Peter, Paul, all of them spoke with angels. And they could understand it was not some heavenly gibberish language. It was a tongue that they knew. Now, if you... Uh, uh, look into languages I and I don't and I'm no expert so I'm just going on what someone else has said here but uh, what they said is that probably the original language the language that Adam spoke uh, would would be Hebrew because you can't you can go back to all these other languages and you can find a source uh, but they're not Bullinger, that's who said it in his Bible uh, that 
Uh, Hebrew is probably the original language before, uh, you know, the Tower of Babel and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that's what they were uh, speaking mostly. And then, of course, the Tower of Babel, and it even says tongues there, uh, in the King's English, when they say the word tongue, uh, oftentimes they're either talking about uh, human language, I speak in uh, English tongue, or they will, sometimes it is referring to the actual uh, tongue in your mouth. But uh, most of the time when it's talking about a language, I, every time I believe it, that it's talking about a language, it's talking about a human language. And I think Paul was just saying, though I speak with uh, tongues of all men and angels, uh, he was making an emphasis, though I speak all the languages. He said in another part, right, right there in 13 or 14, he said that, uh, I think 14, he said, uh, I, I'm glad that I speak uh, more tongues than all of y'all. And uh, what it was, was Paul was a missionary and he went to all these different countries. And so he was given the gift of tongues uh, so he could preach to those guys, is what I believe. If you look it up in the book of Acts, you only find three times uh, that anyone spoke in tongues. And it was for a sign. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 22, uh, we learn that the uh, Jews require a sign. And the Greeks seek after wisdom. Uh, I, I think it's uh, 1 Corinthians... 1422 again it says that tongues are for a sign uh, and the only people that required a sign uh, were Israel they were given the signs uh, in Egypt and they required a sign when Jesus came they said what sign will you show me uh, Gentiles we are not uh, we do not require a sign but uh, in Acts chapter 2, they spoke in tongues. Uh, obviously, in Acts chapter 2, it is a tongue of men. It even goes on to uh, mention the different languages that they spoke. And in Acts chapter 10, he's talking to Gentiles, but there were Jews present. And the Gentiles spoke in tongues, and it was totally different from Acts chapter 2. Uh, he didn't lay hands, he didn't, he was just preaching and the Holy Ghost came upon him. And then in Acts chapter 19, again, he laid hands on them and they received the Holy Ghost. And that's where a lot of people, they get their doctrines from the book of Acts. And the book of Acts, folks, is a transitional book. It's transitioning from Old Testament to New Testament, from... Uh, Jew to Gentile. At the beginning of Acts, they're going nowhere but to the Jew. At the end of Acts, Paul said uh, that I'm going to take the gospel to the Gentiles for they will hear you. Uh, Acts 28, 28. Well, they'll hear it. <coughs> and the Jews then again were uh, blinded in part. Then you go into the epistles of Paul, and that's where you really want to get your doctrine in the epistles. Uh, the book of Acts is telling you a history. It's the only history book in the New Testament. So you got to be careful when you do that. But when they're talking to uh, tongues of angels, uh, I'll challenge you anywhere from Genesis to Revelation in that Bible, show me where the end. They could not understand what the angel said uh, because he was speaking gibberish. Anyway, again, I want to thank all you guys so much for your prayers. Uh, that just uh, means so much to me that I have subscribers that will pray for other Christians all over the world. God bless you. And uh, the last report I got, uh, she's doing better. So our prayers have been heard. And uh, 
let's just continue to pray for Aunt Rosemary and for Gypsy. If you have any prayer requests, leave them in the comments. Uh, we definitely got several people that will pray for you. And I thank God so much for that. Remember to read your Bibles, folks, and uh, pray without ceasing. You guys have a wonderful day.